Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this checkered sling bag with our crochet starter kit. You're going to need two skeins of yarn, a crochet hook size 7.5, stitch markers in two different colors, a darning needle, and a pair of scissors. For those who purchase the kit, please use the 7.5 end of the crochet hook. In this video, I'm going to use my Prim Ergonomic Crochet Hook in the same size, 4.5mm. First, we're going to make a slip knot with color A. Place the yarn on top of your palm and wrap the yarn around your fingers twice, crossing it to the left. Release the loop that you have just made and pull the working yarn through the loop to make a slip knot. Insert your crochet hook into the loop and pull on both strands to tighten. Next, we're going to make 15 chain stitches. Count to make sure that you have a total of 15 chain stitches. Next, we're going to single crochet into the second chain from hook. So this is the first chain, and this is the second chain. We're going to insert the crochet hook into the second chain and make a single crochet. Mark the first stitch with a stitch marker. We're also going to mark the bottom of the stitch with another stitch marker in a different color. You will now have the first stitch marked with a yellow marker and the bottom of the stitch marked with a pink marker. Next, we're going to single crochet into each of the next 13 stitches. You will now have 14 stitches on your work. Next, we're going to work two more single crochets in the last chain. You will have a total of 3 single crochets in the last chain. Next, rotate your piece to the opposite side. And we're now going to work on this side of the crochet work, going from the right to the left. We're going to single crochet into each of the next 13 stitches. Be careful not to work into this stitch with 3 single crochets. 
We're going to work the next single crochet here in this stitch. The 13th single crochet will go into this stitch marked with a pink marker. Next, we're going to work one more single crochet into the last stitch. You will now have a total of 2 single crochets in the last stitch. Now let's count to make sure that you have 30 stitches starting from the stitch marked with a yellow marker and ending here at the last stitch. Remove the pink marker and then slip stitch into the first stitch that is marked with the yellow marker. Mark the slip stitch that you have just made with the pink marker. The slip stitch is often mistaken as a stitch, and so by marking it with a stitch marker, it will help remind us not to accidentally work into them. Next, we're going to move on to the body of the bag. We're going to alternate between color A and B to form a checkered pattern. So five double crochets in color A, 5 double crochets in color B, another 5 in color A, and continue until you get to the end of the round, ending with color B. First, make a chain 3. Next, double crochet into each of the next 5 stitches. We're going to switch to color B at the end of the 5th double crochet, so just leave the 5th stitch unfinished. Mark the first stitch with a yellow marker. Continue with the remaining 4 double crochets. For the 5th double crochet, work the stitch until you have 2 loops left on your hook.
We're going to switch to color B, so grab the end of the white yarn and complete the fifth double crochet. Now you will have 5 of the double crochets in green and a working loop in white. Next, we're going to work the second checkered pattern in white and we're going to carry the green yarn inside our stitches as we crochet. So position the green yarn to the front and we're going to hold the white yarn with the left hand as our working yarn. Make 5 double crochets into the next 5 stitches and carry the green yarn inside your stitches as you crochet. So yarn over and insert your crochet hook into the next stitch and then crochet over the green strand and complete the double crochet. We're going to continue carrying the green yarn inside the remaining 4 double crochets. For the fifth double crochet, we're going to do the same as the previous color change by leaving the stitch unfinished with two loops left on your hook. Next, place the green yarn to the back and the white yarn in front. Complete the fifth double crochet with the green yarn. You will have five of the double crochets in white and a working loop in green. We're going to continue switching colors every five stitches until we have six of the checkered patterns complete. So with the white yarn in front and the green yarn as our working yarn, make 5 double crochets and carry the white strand inside your stitches as you go. Now we have three of the checkered patterns complete. We're going to continue working the remaining three patterns in white, green, and white. So place the green yarn to the front, yarn over, and insert your crochet hook into the next stitch. Slightly tug on the working yarn to avoid a gap. Continue working the remaining 4 double crochets and switch to color A when you get to the end of the 5th stitch.
Continue working the remaining two checkered patterns until you get to the end of the round. Remember to always place the non-working yarn in front and carry them inside your stitches as you go. For the 6th checkered pattern, we will work the next 5 stitches in white and be careful not to work into the stitch marked with a pink marker. Now let's count to make sure that we have 30 stitches on this round, starting from the stitch marked with the yellow marker. Next, we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to complete the round. So insert your crochet hook into the stitch marked with the yellow marker and slightly tuck on the working yarn to avoid creating a gap. You can now remove all stitch markers and we're going to mark the slip stitch that we have just made with a pink marker. For the next round, we're going to repeat round 2 once again, but we're going to slip stitch with white instead of green at the end of the round. So we're going to make another round of green white green on this side, and another round of white green white on the other. Here I'm going to show you how to carry the white yarn up to the next round. Place the white yarn in front, and the green yarn on the back. Hold the green yarn with your left hand as your working yarn and then insert the crochet hook back into the loop and make a chain 3. Next, make 5 double crochets into the next 5 stitches while carrying the white strand along. Don't forget to mark the first stitch with a yellow marker.
At the end of the round, we will not be switching to green, so just complete the fifth double crochet in white as usual. We're going to move the green yarn to the back and then slip stitch into the first stitch with the white yarn. Mark the slip stitch with a pink marker. Remove the yellow marker and we're going to proceed to the next round. We're going to work in alternate colors for the next two rounds. So we're going to make 5 double crochets of white green white on this side and then 5 double crochets of green white green on the other. Since we're going to crochet with white, place the green yarn in front and the white yarn on the back. Insert your crochet hook into the loop and make a chain 3. Next, we're going to double crochet into the next 5 stitches with white and we're going to carry the green strand inside our stitches. Don't forget to mark the first stitch with a yellow marker. Continue with the remaining 4 double crochets and switch to green at the end of the 5th stitch. Next, work the second checkered pattern in green. Continue working in alternate colors until you get to the end of the round. We're going to switch to white at the end of the 6th checkered pattern. Be careful not to work into the stitch marked with the pink marker. When switching colors at the end of the round, we don't have to place the non-working yarn in front. We will place it in the back and complete the last double crochet as usual. Next, make a slip stitch into the first stitch. You can now remove all stitch markers and we're going to mark the slip stitch that we have just made with the pink marker.
For the next round, we're going to repeat round 4 and work in the same checkered pattern. But at the end of the round, slip stitch with green instead of white. So here we have 4 rounds and 2 of the checkered patterns complete. We're going to continue working the checkered pattern, alternating colors every 2 rounds until we have a total of 12 rounds, ending with white, green, white. 